welcome. <laughs> Today, um, we are gonna do a fun Crazy Hair Day style. We actually, she already did it for Crazy Hair Day and it was a hit, huh? She was pretty pumped about it. We, <laughs> our poop emoji hairstyle from last year was actually like a total hit. And so this year we knew we needed to come up with something equally awesome and I feel like we did. And today we are doing a crazy hair day style that looks like a like succulent, like a little cactus on top of her head and it's stinking cute, huh buddy? Mm -hmm. I also know what we might do next year. Well don't tell them yet. <laughs> we can't tell them yet. You'll have to I'll find out next year. I'll spell it out. No. Okay, <laughs> so let's get this party started. So typically her hair is curly um so this is actually something that we would do with like probably more like damp or wet hair just to get it as sleek as we can but we actually just straightened her hair for fun and so we won't have to do this um this time so first things first is just pulling the hair up into a really high ponytail Okay, so now we're gonna split this in half. And I am going to just use a little cream in it, but you can use like a pomade or anything. Really, the, the name of the game is making the hair really sleek. So I'm just going to put this in both halves of the ponytail to keep it nice and smooth. Now we're gonna take this nice smooth piece and we're gonna braid it. So now we're just gonna tie this off with a just small clear elastic. So now we're gonna come with this other side and braid it as well. Now that we have these two braids, we are going to spray them green. So I am just gonna lay a towel around the rest of her hair so it doesn't spray the rest of it green and just focus on spraying the braids. I just got this green hairspray from Sally's. They have it all the time, all year round. Um, you don't just have to wait until Halloween. And it has an awesome color. And it will not it will not ruin your towel. It it washes out super easily. Mm -hmm. We're gonna let her breathe in the front, but we're gonna keep this and let it dry for a second. I'm going to take both of these braids, stick them up like this, and take this elastic and tie it around the two of them together so that they stand up and you're gonna get your fingers green it's just inevitable but it'll be fine so now at this point then i like to just do another touch up because you can see little pieces of natural hair color coming through since your fingers are green, maybe you're the Oompa Loompa hairdresser. I'm the Oompa Loompa hairdresser. I know, I never thought I would dye my kids' hair green so much in parenthood, but so far, both kids have had to have green hair at some point. So now we have like our basic structure to our cactus. So it's gonna need a home to live in. 
So this is just a cut file from the Silhouette store that I cut out. And I'm just going to put it together like this and it will look like a little pot that it's in. But I have to adjust it slightly so that it will fit around her head a little easier. So I have to cut these slits up just a little bit more so that it will fit. Kind of bend these so that they'll be slightly deeper. This actually is something I could do in the silhouette, but it's actually just easier to do it this way so I can actually see how big we need it. So I'm going to keep it along the back like this and then we'll keep it into place. We're going to just bobby pin all these edges around to hold it into place because let's face it they're going to be at school, it's going to be recess and they're going to be playing, moving, or in Harper's case you could be hit by basketballs. <laughs> That's what happened last time. Like three times. Like three times. So and for being hit with, I don't really understand why she was hit with basketballs, but for being hit with basketballs, <laughs> she, her hair still looked pretty dang good by the end of the day. And then we can just come with this second little piece and I'm gonna put a little tape on the back and put it around so that it looks like it's in a little pot. So a cactus, wouldn't be a cactus without, without some cactus flowers. These are also made with my Silhouette Cameo and just cut them out and hot glued them onto some bobby pins. Now a cactus is also not a cactus unless it has little prickies in it. So we're just going to take these, they're, um, little toothpicks but they're like not the super pointy ones these ones are have like round edges so they aren't a hazard <laughs> and <laughs> just gonna prick them into the hair Your kids are doing their, for their hair for crazy hair day. Don't mind my toddler, she's screaming. <laughs> but make sure to check out my blog at girllovesglam.com and we'll see you later. You say bye. 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 <laughs>